And so um, it was interesting and it was something that was, you know, the technology to measure those things, infrared cameras, like I said, this thing weighed 40 pounds and you had liquid, liquid nitrogen. And I had a part of the thing was that we used to do infrared surveys of the roofing of different buildings mm -hmm. um, to see if there was any leaks or you could see temperature differentials. Back then, they didn't have infrared cameras you could hold in your hand. Back then, it was a 40-pound backpack with a VHS mm -hmm. take that I'd have to go to the physics building and get some liquid nitrogen to put in the cool the sensor, climb up a ladder to get on the roof, and I was the strong enough guy to do it and do that. But then I realized when I was doing that, I said, hey, because back then, we were just then coming to grips with the effects of atmospheric turbulence on mm -hmm. astronomical facilities. And so I talked to them, and they said, yes, we'd love to have that done. And so through the university, they agreed to let me and my buddy Larry put it in his Honda Civic, drive it up to Mount Laguna, and start doing uh, infrared surveys on the outside of the building and within the observatory structure itself. And we identified a number of heat sources that were diminishing their images. So if you look like, if you're looking over a barbecue, you see the airwaves going like this. Uh, when you're really high in magnification and really big instruments, even subtle things like they had rolled these big boulders around the observatory building as decorative items, but they mm -hmm. were just heat sinks that were just radiating heat out and reducing the quality of the imaging and the data they were collecting. And so um, it was interesting and it was something that was, you know, the technology to measure those things, infrared cameras, like I said, this thing weighed 40 pounds and you had liquid, liquid nitrogen. It wasn't a Nowadays, you get these infrared cameras, you can buy them at Harbor Freight for, you know, yeah. for sake. So, but, you know, 40 years ago, that really wasn't the case.